cyber security has become a struggle for organizations in 2021. Recent trends, the side effects of a global pandemic and cyber security statistics reveal a huge increase in hacked and breached data for increasingly common sources in the workplace like mobiles and IoT devices. On top of this, the COVID-19 has ramped up remote workforces, making inroads for cyber attacks. This kind of growth would not have been possible if not for several reliable tools and services. From scripts that find intricate details of companies to software that can brute force servers with a single command, today's lesson is all about such tools that make an ethical hacker effective. Hey everyone, this is Bhava from Simply Learn and welcome to this video on the top 5 ethical hacking tools. Let's take a look at the topics we need to cover today. We start by learning the basics of ethical hacking and how it differs from the general public idea of cyber criminals. We learn about the various types of ethical hacking and the respective personnel that carry out these attacks. Moving on, we reach our main focus for the lesson, which are the top 5 ethical hacking tools that every cybersecurity analyst must master. And finally, we learn about a few benefits of ethical hacking and how it can be used to the advantage of organizations. Let's learn about what is ethical hacking in our first section. Ethical hacking involves an authorized attempt to gain unauthorized access to a computer system, application or data. Carrying out an ethical hack involves duplicating strategies and actions of malicious attackers. Often carried out in the form of security audits, ethical hacking is extremely beneficial to organizations who are looking to secure the data from falling in the wrong hands. There are three variants of hackers. While a black hat hacker is notorious for criminal activities, a white hat is an ethical hacker or a computer security expert who specializes in penetration testing and other testing methodologies that ensure the security of an organization's system. There are a few that fall under the grey hat hacker umbrella where the hacker occasionally have not authenticated themselves before attempting to hack an organization while sometimes requiring a small fee to report the vulnerability to the developers directly. The purpose of ethical hacking is to improve the security of the network or the systems by fixing the vulnerabilities found during testing. Ethical hackers may use the same methods and tools used by the malicious hackers but with the permission of the authorized person for the purpose of improving the security and defending the systems from attacks. Ethical hackers are expected to report all the vulnerabilities and weaknesses found during the process to the management directly. Ethical hacking has proven itself to be quite a productive career option for many ambitious individuals. The demand for its courses today is at an all-time high and rightfully so. It provides you with an engaging job that never gets tedious. Some certifications like the CompTIA+, CEH and Cisco CCNA are highly acclaimed and will teach a learner all there is to know before dipping their toes in the industry. When it comes to web app hacking, it generally refers to the exploitation of applications via HTTP which can be done by manipulating the applications via its graphical user interface. This is done by tampering with the uniform resource identifier also known as a URI or tampering with the HTTP elements directly which are not a part of the URI. The hacker can send a link via an email or a chat and may trick the users of a web application into executing actions. In case the attack is on an administrator account, the entire web application can be compromised. Anyone who uses a computer connected to the internet is susceptible to the threats that computer hackers and online predators pose. These online villains typically use phishing scams, spam email or instant messages and bogus websites to deliver dangerous malware to your computer and compromise your computer security. Computer hackers can also try to access your computer and private information directly if you are not protected by a firewall. They can monitor your conversations or peruse the back end of your personal website. Usually disguised with a bogus identity, predators can lure you into revealing sensitive personal and financial information. A web server, which can be referred to as the hardware, the computer or the software which helps to deliver content that can be accessed through the internet. The primary function of a web server is to deliver these web pages on the request to clients using the hypertext transfer protocol or HTTP. 
So hackers attack the web server to steal credential information, passwords and business information by using different types of attacks like DDoS attacks, SYN flooding, ping flood, port scan and social engineering attacks. In the area of web security, despite strong encryption on the browser server channel, web users still have no assurance about what happens at the other end. Although wireless networks offer great flexibility, they have their own security problems. A hacker can sniff the network packets without having to be in the same building where the network is located. As wireless networks communicate through radio waves, a hacker can easily sniff the network from a nearby location. Most attackers use network sniffing to find the SSID and hack a wireless network. An attacker can attack a network from a distance and therefore it is sometimes difficult to collect evidence against the main hacker. Social engineering is the art of manipulating users of a computing system into revealing confidential information which can be later used to gain unauthorized access to a computer system. The term can also include activities such as exploiting human kindness, greed and curiosity to gain access to restricted access buildings or getting the users to installing backdoor software. Knowing the tricks used by hackers to trick users into releasing vital login information is fundamental in protecting computer systems. Coming to our main focus for today, let us have a look at the top 5 most essential ethical hacking tools to be used in 2021. At the top of the chain lies NMAP. NMAP, which stands for Network Mapper, is a free and open source utility for network discovery and security auditing. Many systems and network administrators also find it useful for tasks such as network inventory, managing service upgrade schedules and monitoring host or service uptime. It is most beneficial in the early stages of ethical hacking where a hacker must figure the possible entry point to a system before running the necessary exploits, thus allowing the hackers to leverage any insecure openings and thus breach the device. Nmap uses raw IP packets in novel ways to determine what hosts are available on the network, what service they are running, what operating systems are installed, what type of packet filters and firewalls are in use and dozens other characteristics. It was designed to rapidly scan large networks but works fine against single host as well. Since every application that connects to a network needs to do so via a port, the wrong port or a server configuration can open a can of worms which lead to a thorough breach of the system and ultimately a fully hacked device. Next on our list we have Metasploit. The Metasploit framework is a very powerful tool that can be used by cyber criminals as well as ethical hackers to probe systematic vulnerabilities on both networks and servers. Because it's an open source framework, it can be easily customized and used with most operating systems. With Metasploit, the ethical hacking team can use ready-made or custom code and introduce it into a network to probe for weak spots. As another flavor of threat hunting, once the flaws are identified and documented, the information can be used to address systemic weaknesses and prioritize solutions. Once a particular vulnerability is identified and the necessary exploit is fed into the system, there are a host of options for the hacker. Depending on the vulnerability, hackers can even run root commands from the terminal, allowing complete control over the activities of the compromised system as well as all the personal data stored on the device. A big advantage of Metasploit is the ability to run full-fledged scans on the target system, which gives a detailed picture of the security index of the system along with the necessary exploits that can be used to bypass the antivirus software. Having a single solution to gather almost all the necessary points of attack is very useful for ethical hackers and penetration testers as denoted by its high rank in the list. Moving on, we have the Acunetics framework. Acunetics is an end-to-end -end web security scanner which offers a 360-degree view of an organization's security. It is an application security testing tool that helps the company address vulnerability across all their critical web assets. The need to be able to test applications in depth and further than traditional vulnerability management tools has created a market with several players in the application security space. Acunetics can detect over 7,000 vulnerabilities, including SQL injections, cross-site scripting, misconfigurations, weak passwords, 
exposed database and other out-of-band vulnerabilities. It can scan all pages, web apps and complex web applications running HTML5 and JavaScript as well. It also lets you scan complex multi-level forms and even password protected areas of the site. Iconetics is a dynamic application security testing package which has definite perks over status application security testing frameworks which are also known as SAST scanners. SAST tools only work during development and only for specific languages and have a history of reporting a lot of false positives whereas dynamic testing tools also known as DAST have the ability to streamline testing from development to deployment with minimal issues. Next on our list we have Ergaden. This is a multi-use bash script used for Linux systems to hack and audit wireless networks like our everyday Wi-Fi router and its counterparts. Along with being able to launch denial of service attacks on compromised networks, this multipurpose Wi-Fi hacking tool has very rich features which support multiple methods for Wi-Fi hacking including WPS hacking modes, WP attacks, handshake captures, evil twin and so much more. It usually needs an external network adapter that supports monitor mode which is necessary to be able to capture wireless traffic that traverse the air channels. Thanks to its open source nature, AirGuardian can be used with multiple community plugins and add-ons, thereby increasing its effectiveness against a wide variety of routers, both in the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz band. Finally, at number 5, we have John the Ripper. John the Ripper is an open source password security auditing and the password recovery tool which is available for many operating systems. John the Ripper Jumbo supports hundreds of hash and cipher types including for user passwords of operating systems, web apps, database servers, encrypted keys and document files. Some of the key features of the tool include offering multiple modes to speed up the password cracking automatically deselecting the hashing algorithm used by the passwords and the ease of running and configuring the tool to make it password cracking easier. It can use dictionary attacks along with regular brute forcing to speed up the process of cracking the correct password without wasting additional resources. The word list being used in these dictionary attacks can be used by the user's end allowing for a completely customizable process. We also have a few honorary mentions in our list that just missed the cut. NetSparker, for instance, is an automated yet fully configurable web application security scanner that enables you to scan websites, web applications, and web services. The scanning technology is designed to help you secure web applications easily without any fuss, so you can focus on fixing the reported vulnerabilities. The Burp Suit Professional is one of the most popular penetration testing and vulnerability finder tools and is used for checking web application security. The term Burp, as it is commonly known, is a proxy based tool which is used to evaluate the security of web based application and to do hands on testing. Moving away from websites and applications, Wireshark is a free and open source packet analyzer which was launched in 2006. It is used for network troubleshooting, analysis, software and communications protocol development and education. It captures network traffic on the local network and stores data for offline analysis. Wireshark captures network traffic from Ethernet, Bluetooth, wireless networks and frame relay connections. Now that we learn about the different types of tools that can be used when conducting an ethical hacking audit, let's learn about some potential benefits of such campaigns and why organizations prefer to pay for such audits. Being able to identify defects from an attacker's perspective is game-changing since it displays all the potential avenues of a possible hack. One can only prepare for the known vulnerabilities as a defensive specialist, but proactively trying to breach a network or device can make hackers think of techniques that no defense contractors can account for. This kind of unpredictability goes a long way in securing a network against malicious actors. Another advantage of hiring ethical hackers is the ability to preemptively fix possible weak points in a company's network infrastructure. As seen on many occasions, a real breach will cause loss of data and irreparable damage to the foundation of an organization. Being able to gauge such shortcomings before they become public and can be used exploited is a benefit most organizations make use of. 
This is not to imply that such security audits are only beneficial to the organization paying for it. When coming across companies that provide certain services, a reliable third-party security audit goes a long way in instilling trust and confidence over their craft. If the ethical hackers cannot find any major vulnerabilities that can be leveraged by hackers, it just accentuates the technical brilliance of the organization and its engineers, thereby increasing the clientele by a substantial amount. Hope you learned something interesting today. If you have any doubts regarding the topics mentioned in the lesson, please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.